Santa Clarita swears in a new mayor and the victim of a fatal freeway crash is identified. Hello, I'm Ryan Haslam with your SCV News Break for Wednesday, December 14th. Councilwoman Lori Ender was sworn in to serve a year-long term as mayor of Santa Clarita Tuesday. The council bypassed the usual rotation for mayor pro tem, or vice mayor, to select Frank Ferry, who nominated himself. Had the five-person council followed its traditional rotation, it would have been Bob Keller's turn to serve in the number two spot. Ferry's nomination of himself was seconded by Councilmember Marsha McLean and made official in a four-to-one council vote. Residents interested in running for a seat on the Santa Clarita City Council can begin the process as early as Monday. Two seats currently held by council members Bob Keller and Lori Ender are up for election. Nomination papers and candidate handbooks will be available beginning Monday. You can pick them up at the city clerk's office inside City Hall on Valencia Boulevard. The election will be held on Tuesday, April 10th. Winners will serve a four-year term and be sworn into office on April 24th. For more information on the City Council election, call the City Clerk's Office at 661-255-4391 or visit votesantaclarita.com. More details on the fatal traffic incident that claimed the life of one woman on the 14 Freeway Tuesday. The victim has been identified as 83-year-old Millie Erickson of Santa Monica. Officials say Erickson was crossing the northbound lanes of the 14 Freeway on foot after retrieving the plastic wheel underliner which had fallen off her car. She was struck and killed by a 2006 Toyota Corolla driven by a 64-year-old Palmdale man shortly before 2 p.m. Tuesday. Coming up after the break, smokers are funding one new Santa Clarita school and the modernization of another. Details next. It's go time at your Toyota dealer. They're here now. The cars, trucks, and SUVs you really want. With great deals on every new Toyota. Go for zero APR and save thousands on a new Corolla. Or lease a new Corolla for just $189 a month for 36 months. And Corolla comes with Toyota Care complimentary maintenance. We make it easy on you. Get a new Corolla. It's go time. California might be going broke, but the state allocation board announced they'll be distributing nearly $1 billion for school construction and modernization projects, including two in Santa Clarita. Who's paying for it? Tobacco users. Cigarette smokers are paying half the cost of a new $8 million school in the Saugus Union School District and more than $5 million for the modernization of Sierra Vista Junior High. Both SEV projects are funded through a 2009 ballot measure, Proposition 1D, which temporarily diverted tobacco taxes away from early education programs as a way to balance the state budget. The Hart District will match 40% of modernization costs for the Sierra Vista uh, modernization project through the local voter-approved measure SA. Saugus is matched 50-50 with the other 50% coming from the homeowners in the New Hall Land and Farming Company's River Village community. Well, as the holidays roll in, law enforcement is sending a strong message to drivers. Drive so sober or get pulled over. During the winter holiday anti-DUI campaign, multi-agency task forces and roving DUI patrols will be actively looking for motorists driving under the influence. The Santa Clarita Valley Sheriff's Station will conduct DUI and driver's license checkpoints on December 16th and 22nd. More than 750 people were killed in December 2009 in alcohol-related collisions. Another beautiful day as we take a look outside. The high reached 65 degrees in Santa Clarita, and tonight the low is expected around 41. The National Weather Service has issued a high wind watch as a low pressure system will move into Southern California Thursday. Thursday will be mostly sunny with a high near 60. Winds will kick up later in the day. Northeast winds are expected around 35 miles per hour on Friday with gusts as high as 50 miles per hour. We now have Stephen K. Peoples here to give us the latest on entertainment news. Stephen, looks like you're bundled up for the cold weather. How you doing, Ryan? I sure am, but I'm ready for the season. 
Now, Thursday night from 7 to 11, Census transforms Main Street and Old Town Newhall into the ultimate big block party with live music and entertainment, art, food trucks, beer, wine, and more. This month's theme is Winter on the Rocks. It's free and open to all ages. Check out censusonmain.com for more info. The monthly Santa Clarita Street Fair is Saturday and Sunday all day in parking lot 8 near the football stadium at College of the Canyons in Valencia. It's a family-friendly affair with arts and crafts and lots of holiday gifts on sale. Plus, gourmet food trucks at lunchtime both days. Parking's free. The Farmer's Market at COC is also open on Sunday from 8 a.m. to noon. A portion of the proceeds from your purchases will benefit the Bridge to Home Winter Shelter. And it's Nutcracker Weekend as the Santa Clarita Ballet presents its annual production of the holiday classic at the Performing Arts Center at COC. There are matinees and evening shows Saturday and Sunday. Tickets are $26 to $30. Call 661-251-0366 or visit santaclaritaballet.net. Finally, on Saturday night, the monthly all-ages Suburbia concert rocks the Santa Clarita Sports Complex. The lineup features Open Dakota, Sans Pirelli, Locked and Loaded, Freelance, Dim Tribe, Guilt by Association, and Omaha. The doors open at 6. Tickets are $8 with a flyer or $10 without a deal either way. You'll find lots more entertainment news 24-7 at svnews.com, hometownstation.com, and my blog, peoplesplace.com. I'm Stephen K. Peoples with your SCV Entertainment Minute. Back to you, Ryan. Thank you, Stephen. It's a decades-long tradition. Inmates at the Los Angeles County Jails are busy making holiday toys for girls and boys. The program started more than 50 years ago. This year, inmates at the Century Regional Detention Facility handcrafted 1,400 cloth dolls. 150 wooden cars, trucks, and helicopters were constructed by inmates here at the Pitches Detention Center. All of the materials used to make the toys were donated by merchants and private donors. The toys will be distributed to children throughout L.A. County. For more Santa Clarita news, log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thank you for joining us. I'm Ryan Haslam.